Baby Storm, baby storm, baby storm, baby storm. Listen, baby girl, this ain't it. This ain't how you do it, okay? This is not how you get on, all right? Your song is you're in the body in the graveyard, whatever the, the city of the graveyard or whatever. It could be more, you know what I'm saying? But that's nobody's fault but your own, okay? You have to you have to look at your art, okay? And you have to ask yourself a question, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's it's a bit weird, okay? Let's just keep it a stack. It's a bit weird. So what you have to do is you have to make it what you want it to be and make it a little bit more palatable at the same time. But anyway, 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 I'm glad to be back. I'm back. Look, I'm fucking standing. Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm standing. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get into it. So Ice Spice's former best friend, uh, all right, alleges, well, exposes her for allegedly using her to get famous, being an alleged colorist, and cheating on her boyfriend, producer Riot. Riot. Ice Spice been spreading them cheeks for somebody else. All right? I'm not afraid of her anymore. This is truth. I mean, like, my thing is, like, where was this energy at when you was, like, when you first dropped the song? Because I seen the song when you first dropped it. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like maybe your label doesn't know how to market you. Maybe you don't know how to market yourself. I don't think this is called for, oh, let me try and expose her and like beef with all these other people. Like, I don't think this is the way to go because you're looking for longevity in this game and everybody fucks with everybody. You know what I mean? So like, what are you doing? That's my real question. Um, But anyway, <clears throat> As, as y'all can see, let me let me expand. Let me expand this so y'all can read this all the way. Boom. All right. So look, this is what she says. Uh, the next per the the next person to be exposed will be my ex best friend Isis, or as y'all know her as I Spice. All right. Isis did everything in her power to make sure my career would never take off. Why? Why? Y'all are in totally different lanes. It makes no sense. Um. She did every, uh, everything you could possibly think of and more. I'm not afraid of her anymore. This is the truth. Okay. All right. So then let's 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 jump into what she's alleging. Let's jump into what she's right. So all right. So here we go. So listen, she said, by the way, guys, I don't worry about the hate I'm getting because the only people hating me are the barbs who don't give a flying fuck about who I don't give a flying fuck about. Nicki Minaj is also evil, and the bars hating don't even uh know what that isis only used her for a feature that's why she attacked lotto too lotto always been her biggest nightmare in competition she was always jealous of her for years because lotto is who isis it was pretending to be um she purposely used nikki so she could get a feature and surpass lotto and she used nikki and the barbs to do so but keep defending her the barbs Lotto only roasts. <clears throat> this is some wild allegation. Uh, Lotto rose to fame because of her talent and talent only. Uh, Isis rose to fame because she sold her soul. She knew she would never be, be have a fraction of the amount of talent Lotto has, so she attacked her on purpose to get a Nikki feature so the bars would turn on Lotto. It hurt her career because Lotto is a rapper and they have the same fan base, but I'm not. A rapper, so the barbs can't touch my career. All right. Um, um, I don't know what the fuck this lady is talking about. All right. So look, I, I took the pleasure of going through the rest of her tweets, so you don't have to, and so everybody else don't have to see this shit. All right, let me take off the screen. Let me let me take off the screen. All right, cool. It's me and you. Let me just kick real shit to you, okay? First of all, first of all, okay. This screams I'm a bitter artist that's not getting the clout that I feel like I deserve because like I heard about her and her song like a, a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago at max. All right. So she's been working like the same single for a minute. You know what I mean? And my, my thing is this, um, and it, and she was working around Halloween, which is good timing. Um, but I feel like maybe she herself is projecting you know what I'm saying? Maybe you are jealous of Ice Spice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're jealous of her success. Maybe you thought that you were going to get on and get further than she was. 
and you didn't quite get to where you thought you were going to be. So you're like, how do I, how do I make this happen? Oh, I know I drum up fake beef and fake diss and you know what I'm saying? Like clout chasing stuff to, to, you know, kind of get on. Cause that's what's going on nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like these past, like two months have been a lot of like, I'm dissing so-and-so I'm beefing with so-and-so blah, blah, blah to, to drum up interest and notoriety and, and maybe that helps me. It doesn't. It doesn't work out for anybody. Okay. Nobody, nobody long term has benefited from that business model. Okay. It's a good short term injection into your career. But unless you have the clout, unless you have the notoriety, unless you have like the real talent, raw talent, like it's just not going to happen for you. And the thing is, people. I fell in love with Ice Spice. That's what it is. She 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 made a situation where people could fall in love with her. So now you're kind of like taking this L. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because you're saying like, oh, because I've seen your other tweet where, oh, Ice Spice, this best friend that she's parading around isn't really her best friend. I'm her real best friend. I'm like, but if you were her real best friend, when you beat, like, it, 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 it seems like you just got left behind and you're upset you got left behind. You know what I'm saying? And maybe y'all weren't as cool as you thought you were. Maybe you were thinking more of the relationship than you thought she was thinking of the relationship. Um, but it's clear to say from listening to your music and listening to her music, you ain't wrote for her nothing. So I'm like, what's your real beef? Like, why are you why are you here? Why are you why are you this upset? What is grinding your gears really? I, I can't speak to that. I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. I really don't. But what I'm going to tell you is to focus on your art and getting better. Because if your music really speaks to people, you don't need all this other bullshit. People know you for the music. You don't ever want to be that person that's known for this type of shit. You never want to be this person. All right. Because it's not getting people to listen to you. It's not getting people to take you seriously. You sound scorned. You sound like, oh my God, woe is me. Why am I on? And then you tried to like run the colorist angle. But I mean, like the the texts really weren't hitting the way that you thought they were. Like, I don't know. Like you really just was throwing everything up against the wall. Then you start dissing other people. Like, my thing is, like, and you're dissing Nikki and the barbs and stuff. And the thing is, you're like, oh, Lotto only used her for blah, blah, blah. She's signed. She's full-blown signed over there. What are you talking about? Like, for real, what are you talking? She's signed over there. It's done. She didn't use her for a feature. She's she's done. She's with Nikki and the barbs for at least the next four to five years or whatever the project number they have set up. Like, I don't know what you're on. I don't know where you were at mentally, but I'm going to need you to get it together. Okay. You're an artist. Focus on making music, focus on the art, focus on being better. Cause this ain't it. This ain't going to get you where you want to get to. This ain't going to get you where you want to get to. I don't know what you want. You know, I don't know what's going on in your life. I know things probably seem a little bit, bit bleak because the streaming numbers are looking very, very uh, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They're looking very dry. You know, but this ain't it. This ain't the vibe. This ain't how you do it. All right? But anyway, um, Stormy, just, just get better, bro. That's it. Because it's not like you suck. It's not like you're a terrible artist. Just focus on getting better and focus on the fact that if you stay in your niche, you're going to have a niche fan base and you're going to get niche type of streams. However, if you cross over and you actually focus on the business aspect of music and making songs palatable for a wider audience, you will win. You have the talent. This ain't how you get on. This ain't it. Ignore this bullshit and then get on. Because if you was on and then you said this bullshit, it's going to fucking stick. This shit's not going to stick now. Ice Spice is still going to keep going on. She's not going nowhere. She's here. You're on your own.
Just do better. That's it. That's all I got to say, man. I'm happy to be back. Uh, Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know the boy cooking. I'm out.